Cal, we're in the half to the next round. What did you, how pleased were you with that performance? Very pleased to go through. Um, these can be really difficult ties when you are in the position that we're in and you're at home against the side that have done very, very well in their own division. Um, it's an unfortunate sound bite that uh, won't be great to hear, but the gap between ourselves and the division above is significantly bigger than the gap between ourselves and the division below. Tamworth showed that last year, South Shield showed that, Warrington showed that last year. I'm sure you'll see that we'll do the newly promoted sides into our division. Um, and it can be really difficult. You can feel like you're on a hide into nothing out there on the pitch for, for players. And I thought the players overcame that really well uh, to go in front. And we're pleased that we worked on during the week just around um, something we can be better on, we picked up on, and to have scored that type of goal and then really controlled the game. You begin to feel like you deserve a second goal, doesn't come, and then you just have to stick at it, stick at it. So very, very pleased with the result and the performance in the main. In, in like you say, it's just about getting through to go through and, and score some more goals at home um, is really pleasing. So yeah, with my team's performance, really pleased, uh, really respectful of the opposition's performance who come to frustrate and be difficult to beat and physically give us a challenge um, and feel like they could, could roll us over. And that is the nature of the FA Cup in that everyone seeks an upset, never want to be on the wrong side of one. Um, so pleased with the the home team, especially on the the away team. Tom Pierce got a brace today. That's now four in three games here at the Diva. He was brilliant today, wasn't he? I think he's really important for us. Um, he he sets the tone uh, out of possession. You can see things coming through uh, as to what we want to be. We want to be a team that can threaten, and we we did that today just by playing four forwards. Played four four players in forward positions, create chances, get the ball forwards, get into good areas. Um, out of possession, Tom does an enormous amount of work. He, he set, I use that phrase, he sets the tone for us. Um, in possession, he's something different, something we've probably missed. When you work as hard as he does and creates the opportunities for other people, it's nice when he gets himself on the score sheet. Because I was pleased when I was pleased with our, our forward players in the main and what was really frustrating for them of um, bumps, bruises, everything along the way. I thought we were on the rough side of some, some decisions. Um, I was very, very frustrated. Very frustrated. First time I've really felt that from an officiating point of view, but we we can't speak about it, can we? You you can't you can't talk about it, um, no matter how articulate you want to be. There's no point going through any of the processes. I, I've just learned to get on with it because there was something I saw in the stands the other week, uh, and I mean not not from fans, but something involved that just made me give up on the whole process. It's the worst thing I've seen since I, I took the job, just around processes and doing it properly in relation to that sort of stuff. That's probably why I'm still a bit disappointed because there was some some stuff that went against us today that I just thought was absolutely ludicrous. Um, but you can do it properly, you can do it through the channels, you can do it, oh, what, what's the point? Um, the clubs that seem to get the decisions are the ones that you, you come and jump up and down on the spot and look frustrated every week. No, so I'm, I'm very, very disappointed with, like I say, away team, a lot of respect for the way they went about it. Home team, please the performance. Third team that make a big, big impact on on fixtures and results and performances that I, I certainly didn't think we got we got what we wanted. On a more lighter note, you gave Oscar Rosenblatt his senior debut, of course only age 17, and he picked up an assist as well. Yeah, he's cool, he's cool. Um, I think the academy's been upgraded massively since we got rid of the old academy manager, since we moved on, can't remember him, rubbish. Um, there is a pathway and a pipeline of players, and Mikey Walcott works really hard, very, very talented guy, and both at first team level <clears throat> and at academy level, and you've seen there's a hell of a lot of those players that have come through the programme and through the pathway in the first team and we can almost take that for granted um, and it's good to see so many of them in the squad. Oscar will be the next one and it was really important. He's been on a bench for us before, we trust him, waiting sort of for the opportunity and I thought that was a good way to get him on towards the end of the game and then he was, something happened didn't it, as he got through a goal, his, his leg sort of uh, didn't quite happen but I thought his assist for, for George's goal, really impressive. A talent from a a real talented group. Uh, obviously, our youth team play Wednesday night in the Youth Cup. I'll be here and hoping to get the, the backing that, that they deserve. We're, we're really, really proud of our academy and, and bringing players through. And uh, Oscar, hopefully, is the next one. And then there'll be, be some more after that. So, please for him, please for his, his family and stuff, and, and please for the academy on the whole, for sure. And looking ahead, we've got Russian Olympic next week. Do you have any updates on any uh, player fitness injury news? Yeah, right, there's, there's two parts to it. Um, Here's how I view team news, um, and I'm, I'm really clear on it, and I, I, I ask for like a little bit of respect about, about how I feel with that. Um, 
I don't like when there are what I would call short-term injuries, knocks, things that affect selection week to week. I don't like talking about it for a couple of reasons, whether that is linked to what it does to our own players to suggest that we've got players missing. So this is the team. But let me give you an example. We we go to Spennymore on the opening day, uh, and then we play Brackley the following week uh, in the last previous to that game. In the four halves of football against Brackley previously, we played with three central defenders. We changed shape because they've got such a prolific front two. Um, managers at this level, we work hard on one another. Uh, you can see that, and certainly the majority, and people have ways of playing, and tactically, I certainly take real pride in how we prepare, prepare for games as ourselves. And So if you are Brackley, you are wondering, are Chester going to be a back three or a back four? Are we going to be the diamond that we were at Spennymore, that we were forced to be, I felt, with debt weeks absent through suspension? Or are they going to revert to a three the way that generally we do against Brackley? Well, Ben Pollock picks up a knock, Matty Williams picks up a knock, an impact injury at Spennymore. If I make that clear on Thursday, so our fan base knows not going to be selected for us on a Saturday, I have prepared Brackley uh, on the Thursday night for their session, knowing what they're going to go and play against. There's a reason why if I were to ask any manager in the division at 20 to 2, can I have your team early? No, they'll wait till 2 o'clock when we do the swap with the referee. It does matter, whether it's for restarts and set play opportunities and the way we look at that. And um, I take real pride in knowing. So today we watched uh, Heaven's last three games, won the game against Bamba Bridge. Um, score from a long throw in, you're able to identify who are the six they put in the box, the, the take uh, one on the edge of the box, the players that remain. You, you're you almost giving yourself a head start preparing. There's a reason why South Shields, for example, club getting similar gates to us, they didn't talk last week in the built to our game about that Blackett was missing and Jenkins was missing. Would Jidakeki play, who was uh, taken off with a head injury earlier in the week? There's a reason they don't, and that's why. And I'd love for fans to know everything, and but there has to be a point where we have to go, this needs to be about getting it right. Everyone will have a different opinion, but but that's why. And then sort of the, the other end, other side of the coin is players that sustain uh, different types of injuries. So it wasn't nice seeing Matty Williams come off last week. Um, but we, the way that works is obviously in a lot of pain. Um, I went to A&E with him, was with him for a while. Um, the process that works is he needs a scan and that can't be done immediately. A, for resource, that's, and that's outside of our hands. That's not the club's responsibility to do. Um, and B, just in terms of there's a lot of swelling around his knee, he hasn't had a scan yet. There's no point arranging that scan until such time as it's going to be beneficial. So I don't expect an update on that until at least at the earliest, the back end of the week that's coming. Because again, without delving too much and turning this into a podcast, there is the NHS route to secure scans. Then there are players that are members of the PFA. Some at this level are, some aren't. There's a lot more to it. We aren't withholding information for any particular reason. We've always, when there's been stuff to really put out there that it's right to have in the public domain, we do it. Please just trust us. Please, start. that's not me. I, not me. Just trust us and the club and the staff and the way we want to do things, just trying to do it properly. But I've spoke to Matty this week, he's been in touch with our medical team. As soon as it's right to scan him, that'll be done and, and we'll go from there and we'll communicate that properly in the right channels at the right time. Cheers, Carl.